Hey everyone, so today I am going to work and I have a very important meeting with a client or a prospective client. Um, so obviously, you know, in, in getting ready today, I was like, okay, I have to do a very kind of not over the top, very natural, um, professional looking makeup look. So I thought I would make a video and kind of share with you some of the things that I do when I have an important meeting, um, you know, for a job interview, uh, just, you know, meeting your boyfriend's parents, anything like that where you don't want to, you know, cake on makeup and just kind of look trashy or, or like over the top fake. You want to look very professional, but you still want to use makeup to play up your features. So I thought that I would make a video of, um, you know, kind of myself getting ready and share that with you. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And here it is. Thanks. So I think obviously one of the first most important things is your hair. So if you have short hair, you know, bob length hair, um, obviously style it, do something with it that day, make it, you know, blow dry it, whatever the case may be. Um, if you have longer hair like me, I think wearing it down can be nice, but it can also sometimes um, not look immature but it can it, it can youthen you in a way that isn't necessarily good so personally I like to do some type of either you know um, a bun or like today I'm doing a sleeked back ponytail with a little bit of like a poof at the top um, which is just really a lot of teasing and hairspray so I think something like that just really kind of makes you look a little bit more professional and just kind of gives you a good uh, you know starting point um, for the look so that's just kind of my first tip so the first thing i'm going to start with is my anastasia brow Wiz crayon in taupe and just do my eyebrows just having a good strong brow is really key to this look it really just frames your face and makes it look very polished to take the soft brown by Mac and using my 217 crease brush I'm just gonna apply that all in my crease Next, taking Gleam by MAC and my 239, I'm going to apply that all over my lid. I'm going to take a smaller brush like my MAC 232 and use Shroom and just kind of apply that to the center of my eyelid. See that I brought it up a little into like the topper, the topper, the upper crease part of my eye. I'm also going to do that to just kind of like the bottom inside corner of my eyes. I'm going to actually use a brown liner on both the top and bottom of my eyes. For the top, I'm going to use my liquid liner, which is my Stilla Stay All Day waterproof liner. Guys, I am going to use the liquid liner, but I'm also going to go back over it with a coal liner just because the liquid liner has a tendency to stay better. So I'm going to use my MAC Teddy Coal Liner just to kind of get that like more diffused look that you get from a coal liner. Two nineteen, and then use that original soft brown to just kind of go back over um, that outside part where I lined the eyes. Then 
Then for mascara, you always want to um, curl your lashes so they look bigger. And then I'm going to use my Better Than Sex mascara to just kind of, you know, give some volume. I'm not going to go over the top making them look super, super big. Never wear false lashes. Never just kind of go like really, really big because that just doesn't give a good look. But you, you know, you want to emphasize your eyes. So I think that this is a good mascara to use. face I've already moisturized and I used the Laura Mercier foundation primer um, so now I'm going to use my NARS cream compact um, foundation with my medium duo fiber brush for my foundation I'm going to take my MAC prep and prime and my uh, Sephora Pro Airbrush 57 and um, highlight underneath my eyes. Then I'm going to take my Tarte uh, Smooth Operator to set everything using my uh, MAC 139 brush. This is a great thing to put with you in your purse. Um, even if you're going straight to, you know, the interview, the meeting, whatever, because once you get there, if you need to kind of blot your face at all, this is phenomenal. It comes even with a little brush. I don't know where mine is, but you could, um, you know, obviously keep that and, um, you know, throw it in your purse and just kind of swipe your face so you have no oil. Nothing's kind of out of place and it'll just really, really um, make your makeup look nice once you get to wherever it is that you're going. For my bronzer, I'm going to use my Park Avenue Princess and my MAC 109 brush. Now you don't want to go overboard with the contouring. Obviously, you know, you don't want to look like you're going to like the nightclub or whatever, but um, it's really, really, important that you do this step because it really again kind of like the eyebrows just makes your face look very polished frames your face and just gives like a very finished look so this is another thing i would recommend to throw in your purse is your bronzer um i would throw this in your purse over your blush because i think that this gives kind of a more natural look it kind of plays up like the shadows on your face and, um, you know, if you're going to reapply anything, this is, this I would say is a better thing to reapply. Just be really, really careful to only, you know, use it for contouring. Don't go overboard. Use a color that's very subtle. Don't use, you know, your darkest shade, um, you know, that you would use when you're at your most tan or whatever. <laughs> Make sure you're using something very subtle. And um, I would say that you can't go wrong, you know, carrying this in your purse as well. For blush, again, you want to use something very neutral, something that's not going to be, you know, super in your face. Um, so I'm using my New Romance Mineralized Blush by MAC. For your highlight, you want to use something that's not too in your face. You could even skip this step if you want to. Um, I'm going to use my candle candle or my Too Faced Candlelight Glow and just very gently apply that on top of my cheekbones and just kind of um, extending out the corner of my eyes. Lastly for my lips, I'm going to use my Makeup Forever um, Aqua Lip in 3C and just line my lips.
And then for lipstick, you want to use something very, very nude, very natural. So I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs um, Pout, which is, again, just a beautiful nude color. So that is my look for, um, you know, an interview, for an important meeting, for, you know, just kind of anything where you have to really put your best foot forward, meet clients, um, you know, show yourself, give that first impression of yourself. It's really important. Makeup is very important. Hair is very important. What you wear is very important. Um, you know, nothing too revealing. Um, you know, nothing too tight. I mean, these are all obvious things, nothing too trendy. You know, you want to just look professional, always there on the side of, you know, looking nicer than, um, you know, maybe the situation even calls for because it will always, you know, it'll never work against your favor unless, obviously, unless you show up in like an evening gown. But, you know, always wear just something on the nicer side because that'll just really show that you take, you know, you take it seriously, that you're professional. Um, and that you're prepared. Uh, another important thing is your nails. Make sure either your nails are done um, or if your nails are chipped or chipping, just take the nail polish off altogether and make sure you know that they're clean, that they look nice. Um, moisturize, don't have any like ashy, you know, elbows. I'm terrible at moisturizing, but you know, that's important. Um, and yeah, brush your teeth. <laughs> and, I mean, those are just really the most important things. Just just think if you were meeting somebody, what are the things that you would judge them on? Um, which is horrible to say, but you know, it's the truth, it's human nature. So, um, you know, think about the first things that you would see meeting somebody. What are you going to look at and immediately make assumptions about them based off of? Because that's what that person is doing to you, especially in a situation where you're meeting um, you know, an important client or where you're, you know, going to a job interview, anything like that, just really, really, really you want to put your best foot forward. So um, those are just kind of my tips and tricks. Um, this, I think, is just a great makeup look if you want it to be even more matte. Um, I like using a little bit of shimmer because I think it makes your eyes pop, but you could always do just a matte look, um, you know, using kind of colors similar to these. I'll do another one with matte, um, you know, with all matte eyeshadow. But um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please check out my other videos and my blog and um, come back soon. I'll have more for you. <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye.